Hi guys, this is lesson number 69 from our Coral Draw training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to create this beautiful student ID card in Coral Draw. This ID card we are going to create with two simple tool rectangle and shape. As you can see here, we have a simple text and this card is just designed with the five elements. The first one is light blue, then there is a dark blue curve shape and there is a gray shape. Here we have rounded rectangle that we use for student ID card and there is another rectangular shape we clip picture inside. This card we are going to design with a CR80 size that is a standard ID card size. So let's get started. First of all we are going to click on zoom tool, fit to page height and let's create one rectangular shape. Click on drag. Since our measurement units are in inches we are going to assign the size in inches. The shape is selected the size is 3.375 by 2.125. Hit enter. And this is how we have perfect size. Click on pick tool. Press plus key. Just duplicate the shape. This is in the front. So right click, convert to curve. Click on shape tool double click to delete this corner and from this side we can bring it to the corner here this is how we have a diagonal uh, segment I'm going to start with the gray so this shape we need first click in the middle convert to curve so we got here directional handles just shape this way and that's all click on pick tool Press plus key to duplicate this shape and here we have another one. Just stretch it down this way. Now we are going to create this dark blue shape, shape tool. But this side you can see here we have corner. So double click on this segment to create one point. While this point is selected, just click here, convert to line. So from this side, bring this point somewhere here. And you can see that from this side, our directional handle, it is locked. To open this, you can click on cusp node and now we can freely move. All right. Click on pick tool and once again duplicate by pressing plus key. Stretch it down. And from this side, we are going to modify this way. Shape tool just bring it down somewhere here and slightly adjust the object we are creating they are in the stacking order the first is the gray then dark blue and light blue since we started the object which is behind fill with the color I just made these colors and I'm going to use eyedropper tool to apply these colors but if you want to create your own color simply you can create a shape fill any color and once the color is there you can double click here on this paint and here you can see we have color viewer once you will click here any of your desired color you can click coral draw will update the selected color and then click ok this is how you can create your desired color since we have here i am going to use these colors so click on eyedropper I will click in this light blue and click inside here you can see the object is filled with the same color because in the stacking order this object is in the front now the next so simply click on pick tool to deselect the eyedropper and select the eyedropper once again click on dark color and I am going to add here the third one is gray let's move the outline select it right click here these two shapes also right click here we will leave the outline as it is but we can make it in light color just to show the border of the card in this area we have rectangular shape that is simple you can click on rectangle tool and click on drag to draw just rectangular shape and we are going to make rounded corner since our 
measurement units are in inches so we need to use small increment maybe 0.1 and hit enter that's all let's use eyedropper to fill color right click to remove outline and here we have another shape we will use for the picture so once again I will click on rectangle simply give the value to add the roundness 0.1 hit enter and if we want we can add the outline let's say 1 or maybe 1.5 some light shade and using power clip feature we can clip picture inside select the picture bring it here to just check the size match the size go to object power clip place inside frame and simply click on the edge this object we are going to send behind if I will press control end from the keyboard all the way this object will go behind if I want this object will go step by step behind all object those are in the stacking order I need to press control page down control page down from your keyboard now the rest is the text we can copy text by pressing plus key control home to bring in the front or you can go to the object order to front of the page and here we have text also we can select all duplicate by pressing plus key and just locate here control home this is how we created this beautiful student ID card using rectangle and shape tool as you can see in the card we have different fields in the next lesson we are going to learn how to create bulk of ID card by using Excel data sheet and we will use print merge feature in Corel draw that's all for now I hope you enjoy this lesson and try to practice guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once I will upload new video thank you